All right, welcome back to Griddle Cook Eat More. Today we're doing a Philly cheesesteak, well, a version of it. Uh, there's a Facebook Facebook group uh, that follows uh, St. Louis kind of sewers of sandwiches or something like that. But anyways, uh, so a bunch of people in St. Louis, you know, post their favorite sandwich places. So someone posted a picture of a Philly cheesesteak uh, that was done up on a pretzel, uh, like a, a like a real pretzel that they got from a pretzel shop. Looked really good, and then they're like, man, we need one of these around here, so. But it was a great inspiration, so I'm like, you know what? I'll go ahead and make one at home, so that sounded good. So that's what we're gonna do today. So without further ado, let's see what we're working with. Alrighty, here we go. So, since we're doing a Philly cheesesteak, or actually a pretzel Philly cheesesteak, so we needed our bread, so instead of using a good roll, we're using this uh, pretzel here. We're gonna slice that in half. Uh, we got a local place called the Philadelphia Pretzel Factory, or Philly Pretzel Factory, or something like that or other. Anyways, makes homemade pretzels that are really good. Uh, so, in keeping in tradition with Philly, uh, I got me a ribeye and I sliced it up on my slicer, so I got some thin sliced ribeye there. Uh, and then the onions, uh, so we're gonna do some diced onions on there. And then I was thinking like cheese whiz, but uh, the pretzel places, they always sell cheese sauce, so I got a big tub of that cheese sauce, so that's what we're gonna put on it. So real simple, other than that, maybe a little salt and pepper on the meat, but uh, let's meet up out on the grill there, get out to the Blackstone. We're gonna get this thing cooked up and give it a try. All right, we are back here at the Blackstone. I got it, uh, Probably on medium low, almost low. So just put some fresh oil down, smoking up. I got my uh, cheese sauce there, keeping it warm. So we're gonna throw on top. So let's get it going. Uh, first thing I wanna do, use this little butter flavored oil. Uh, I get that's like Whirl or different brands, GFS, Gordon Food Service. So it's kind of where I get mine. So anyway, it's horrible for you. It's so always saying every video I use it, but it, it's uh, really good. So so we're gonna throw some of that down. And then the first thing we want to do is we want to get our onions down. So I did a diced them up. So we got a little piece of ribeye we don't need on here yet. So we'll get these onions rocking first. And we're gonna ribeye won't take long. I got those going good. All right, onions are looking good. Let's give this a quick stir. Pull this off to the side here. All right, let's get some ribeye down. So I got me some fresh sliced ribeye here. I uh, don't need quite all of it, because if we look, we'll get our pretzel here. We'll go ahead and get that warm. Took one, cut it in half. So you can kind of see right there. Ah. So we got that going. Got extra ribeye here, so definitely be making some other fillies, but let's go ahead and get some down. Probably guess about, about four ounces should do it. Get that broke up here a little bit. And then just gonna do a, just a little bit of salt on it, fresh cracked salt. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Nothing, nothing major. Get this cooked up here. Super quick cook here. Um, it's gonna be super delicious, I believe. Getting that pretzel nice and warmed up. Cheese sauce is smoking hot. It's gonna be a good thing here. Only paying the butt you got. Slice up the ribeye. And get this broke up a little bit. But you can use all kinds of other products. Sam sells these things called steakies, like little pucks, like sirloin steak made up. Um, throw them on the grill, fall out. They're already broken apart, so it makes perfect Philly meat. Uh, if you go to your, uh, if you got like a restaurant supply source food, like Gordon Food Service, we have here. 
Uh, they got a couple options too, which are good. Makes it easier. Keep them frozen, free portion. Pull them out when you need it, so. Go ahead and get our onions incorporated. Bone out of the way. Make sure we're getting a camera shot here. I think we're gonna put a little of the cheese sauce in with it, get it mixed up, and then we'll we'll drizzle a little bit on top too. We want to get that that, that full uh, full cheese flavor there. We'll get that mixed up. We'll probably use a little more. There we go. All right, looking good right there. Get this sucker plated up here. Dust off the old cutting board. Get out of the way, get that in there. Get a pretzel down. Beautiful. Nice little drizzle. Sauce on top. A little cheese there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and kill this old black stone. Get our top piece on. Look at that, boys. Look at that. All right. We're going to let that cool a second. I want to get some good shots of it with my camera. And then uh, we're going to give it a try. All right, it's that time to give this thing a try. It's gonna be messy here. Probably should have cut it in half, but whatever, who cares? It's still gonna taste good. We just gotta try to keep it together here. All right, here we go. Philly cheesesteak on a good, uh, nice Philly style pretzel. Say that's pretty darn good there. Um, if you love pretzels, which I do, those are delicious, and you like Philly cheesesteak, uh, merging these two together, I don't think it's the wrong thing to do. I think it's 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 a good thing to do. So uh, I definitely do it again. I do got a couple more pretzels left. I got me some ribeye left, so maybe making another one, uh, maybe tomorrow or dinner later. Who knows what? But uh, uh, it's pretty damn good. So uh, that is it. Um, Thanks for stopping by, super quick video. Uh, please uh, like this video, drop some comments, let me know uh, if there's anything else, uh, sandwiches or whatever uh, you want me to do, or any ideas you'd like to see done up on the Blackstone or whatever. I don't care, I like cooking anything pretty much. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'd appreciate that too. So just trying to get this uh, channel off the ground. So, but that is it till next time. You guys take care, I'm out. <laughs>